look at that clean, clean win. That was perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better game. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What's up guys, before we jump into today's video, I just want to give you a quick heads up. We have got a brand new series coming out called It Is What It Is starting on February 8th at noon Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to put that schedule up on screen for you right now. It's a really exciting series with my good friend and fellow YouTuber Country Fried where we are going to be building some jank decks in a semi-competitive historic format uh, just to have some fun and uh, hopefully build some fun stuff along the way. So please do mark your calendars, check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun and go ahead and subscribe over with country fried as well so you can get all of the updates from both of us we will have updates on both channels so please do check all of that out now let's get into the video what's going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video i hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today please make sure if you are not already you subscribe like the video comment down below come hang out with us it would really be uh, appreciated it's a great way to support the channel and get some free cards with our giveaway going on right now for a free draft booster box of kamigawa neon dynasty but Let's talk about today's deck. This is brought to us by Cly Phoenix over on Aether Hub. Now, Cly Phoenix did not have a video posted with this. I didn't see a YouTube channel, so I apologize. I can't link him down below, but I do want to credit him because he did create this amazing deck, and this is an amazing deck. Obviously, it's mono black control, but it's got a teched out twist. Uh, that I think is very much worth exploring and really, really good and clever. Uh, and so I'm really excited to try this one out a little bit. So the idea is basically there, right? We've got the basic elements for mono black control in the early game, the Eye Witch, the Shambling Ghast. We've got the full sideboard, of course. Uh, Meat Hook Massacre, Infernal Grasp, Deadly Dispute. Uh, in the top end, we of course have Loth as well as Blood on the Snow, but you'll notice we've got a couple of interesting pieces here. Soren is a pretty obvious include. Soren is, in my opinion, uh, the most quintessential black planeswalker, like for the color pie that we have in standard right now. Loth is a close second, but this is just so perfect for the the mono black uh kind of color pie uh deck and so i'm really excited to play with him because i really haven't played a lot with soren yet uh just an absolutely fantastic card but we'll notice we have westgate regent in the deck uh which is kind of an interesting one right like we don't normally see this however it's very very good and i'll explain why so not only, of course, is this a 4-4 with flying that's difficult to deal with because of that ward cost, but it's also going to stack up all those counters, of course, and hopefully really close out the game very quickly, even against things like life gain, where, you know, they may be gaining into the 40s, 50s life total. We can still take them down in a handful of turns because of how this card works, doubling the number of counters on it, uh, or, or doubling its power and toughness essentially every turn uh, that it attacks is very, very good. But on top of that, You'll notice we've got things like Acquisitions Expert. Now, I know we don't have a party quote unquote mechanic in this set that's not or in this uh, deck. That's not really what we're trying to do. But the important thing is this gets a card out of hand. Doesn't really matter what the card is. It gets a card out of hand. Uh, that is so important because if we can drop this while the opponent has no cards in hand, they now cannot deal with it unless they draw a sweeper uh, and to be clear, Meat Hook Massacre is one of the most prominent sweepers aside from Doomscar that we see in Standard right now. This really outpaces Meat Hook Massacre. Uh, it will very quickly get out of range, and so uh, generally the only way that they can deal with it is with its own sweeper, or with their own like true sweeper, destroy all creatures, not just they get minus X minus X. So very, very good uh, tech for this deck and very, very powerful. Now in the three drop slot, just a couple of interesting things to note. We do have Nighthawk Scavenger, absolutely powerhouse card. I don't know why more decks don't run this because I think this card is so good. We've got Fell Stinger, which we can exploit using some of these early game creatures to hopefully draw some cards, get to our big stuff. And then we do have Graveyard Trespasser, and this is another one that's going to be difficult to deal with with that ward cost of uh, discarding a card. And when it enters the battlefield or attacks, you get to exile a card from a graveyard. 
If it's a creature, you get to drain for one. Now on that flip side, you actually get to do that twice. If it's a creature, again, if both of them are creatures, you get to drain twice as well. So very interesting deck here. Very teched out. Very, very cool. Uh, and I'm excited to try this one out. So Clive Phoenix, thank you again so much for sharing over on Aether Hub. Guys, if you're excited for this one, leave a like on the video. Let's go ahead. Let's jump right in and see if we can get some wins. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And uh, yeah, I mean, I do think we can keep this on the basis that we can eye witch uh, for an environmental sciences just to allow us to get our third land guaranteed. We've got that graveyard trespasser as well, which is going to be a difficult one for them to deal with. So we'll see how this goes. Um, and there we go. We kind of got it immediately. That's good. Let's just go ahead and attack in and pass. No reason to do anything else. We've got the infernal grasp up. Um, and so we can take down whatever the opponent seems to uh, have for us here. Okay. Um, I think we will go ahead and do this because we can then Graveyard Trespasser and get it out of there. Uh, which seems really good. So let's go ahead and take care of that now. This is a card that we do not want them to have later in the game. So we definitely want to get rid of it now. Uh, and again, they have to discard a card if they want to get rid of this, which is important. Um, or Meat Hook Massacre or something. So here we go. This is an automatic two for one. Uh, that's pretty amazing. And then here we just have acquisitions experts. So uh, let's go ahead and play one of these. We'll get a card out of hand here. And you're seeing this deck work perfectly right now. Now, I'm not saying it's going to win the game by any means, but we're slowly dwindling down on what the opponent can do here. And that's the key. That is the absolute key. Uh, and again, it's perfect because if we do want to sweep, it's kind of fine. It doesn't matter. So what we're actually going to do in here is first attack. Um, and what this allows us to do is meat hook for two and get rid of this, uh, which is very important because this is one of the ways that they would certainly be able to kind of get us long term. So they really shouldn't have blocked there. Uh, I think it was kind of funny that they did, but it worked out for us. So we'll take that environmental sciences, just guarantee our next land here. Uh, and then as well, we've got that acquisitions expert. Okay, uh, let's do this first. Pretty straightforward. Let's get that land. Uh, we will play you. Uh, let's go ahead and play the Acquisitions Expert first, get a card out of hand, and then we'll probably just drop the Shambling Gas, honestly. Um, wow, we get a Loth. Okay, um, chances are they might have another Loth in hand or just a land and they really didn't want to lose it. Uh, they they do kind of want to keep lands in hand, I imagine. Uh, gains Death Touch. In okay. Interesting. Okay, so we definitely get hit for a little bit here, but that's not the end of the world, actually. Um... I'm going to do this. Uh, what this allows us to do is create a treasure token. So if we need to, uh, we can certainly uh, play whatever comes off the top of our list here. So, all right, uh, we'll chip away. No reason really not to. Very cool little tech here with the Reaper's Talisman. Not a card I expected to see at all, uh, but it's kind of nice. I like it. So this does get to come back if they'd like to. Uh, wow, they have their own Westvale region. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we have to sweep. Uh, I mean, there's really no other option here. Uh, I suppose we could attack first. Uh, yeah, I guess we can do that. No reason not to. Um, all right, we'll do this for four. And hopefully that's uh, a good start for us here. So again, very cool that we're seeing them use the Westvale region because that's obviously what we're trying to do. But uh, I think we'll be in much better shape here. So let's see. I think we take the Necrotic Fumes. We've got the Lolf, uh, which is going to be able to drop out a couple of tokens here. Uh, and then crucially, we can use one of those tokens if we need to with the Necrotic Fumes. Go ahead and drop these two and we'll see what happens. Yeah, okay. Uh, frustrating for sure, but not the end of the world. Uh, and it's a pretty easy attack in. We just get to leave up the uh, the Deadly Dispute here. That seems pretty straightforward. We've got them down to 10. Halfway there. Uh, and hopefully we can get them the rest of the way here quickly. But we will see. Alright, drop another land for sure. We will attack in. Um, Alright. 
pretty straightforward turn order so far. We don't really have... I think we've played pretty strongly at this point. Uh, so I don't think there's a lot we would need to do differently. Um, okay. I'm going to wait. We'll see what they actually have for us here. Okay. Yeah, that's actually perfect. Um, yes, I do want to target that. We do have to discard a card, I know. Um, but we'll discard that Necrotic Fume since we really don't need both. That's just a card again we cannot leave on the battlefield and we do want to kind of finish this game as quickly as we can here so we've got them down to two that means either one of these are lethal at this point uh importantly i mean they could just die here very quickly now that is kind of the problem for us but this is nice because we do get to uh kind of get them here perfect um yep all right and then here this is all we really have to do. <laughs> uh, fantastic. We don't even have to attack. Look at that clean, clean win. That was perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better game. That was absolutely fantastic. Let's jump into game two right now. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And again, a very strong start for us here. So I think we will definitely keep. Uh, now, the question is, do we want to lead with Eye Witch or do we want to lead with Shambling Gas? I think in this case, I'm going to go Shambling Gas. Uh, seeing the green makes me really think, obviously, they're, and the, the fact that it's a snow cover for us makes me think, okay, they're probably just on mono green uh, fight stuff and, you know, all the good stuff. So we're going to definitely kind of go this route. I am going to go ahead and play that Acquisitions Expert here uh, just to try and get a card out of hand. We might as well go ahead and start on that discard now. Uh, and eventually we can sacrifice one of these to the Fell Stinger if we can keep them around. So uh, we'll see. We will see. Um, Acquisitions Expert, one of my favorite little two drops. Again, it's not like super OP or anything like that. It's just a very annoying card for the opponent. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm happy to use it here. Um, what do we get? Interesting. Okay. Master Symmetrist. Okay. Uh, I'm actually not going to attack. We're going we're gonna to let this be. Um, Obviously, we could have gotten an attack in there, and chances are this isn't going to attack in, but they might use it to fight something off here. We'll we'll see. Um, I'm not going to stress about it too much. I would love for them to fight one of these off because it means they can't fight off like a Felsinger, if that makes sense. Um, looks like they are going to ramp into a turn four play here. Is it just another one of these? No, it's an Asika's Chariot. Okay. Certainly a great card. Uh, absolutely fantastic, but we'll see what we can do here. Um, Blood on the Snow. That's pretty good. Um, all right. Well, we have some options uh, for sure. I'm going to attack him with the Shambling Gas first. Let's see what happens here. Um, I don't think they block, truthfully. Uh, I think they kind of want to keep all these tokens around for the Chariot. Um, but we're gonna try if they want to if they want to block we can take one of these tokens out and then uh get a treasure token in response and then use the other shambling gas and get a fell stinger out we probably want to get to this blood on the snow as quickly as we can here uh so let's go ahead and do this yeah i think this is pretty solid um they can activate this and crew it which would be kind of annoying Uh, we'll draw the two cards, obviously, and we will create a treasure token. So if we get like a meat hook massacre, we are golden uh, because we can just kind of sweep here. Um, unfortunately, we didn't, and we didn't even hit a land, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we did get a Nighthawk scavenger, though, which is pretty good. Uh, and then, of course, we do have just another Fell Stinger. Um, <laughs> the fact that the Fell Stinger has Death Touch is really important. Obviously, it makes it a little bit difficult for the opponent to just blindly attack in. Uh, because it's an easy trade-off for us. Uh, so, no matter what happens, we should be able to make something work here. Curious to see if they... See, why wouldn't they crew this with the old growth troll? I think the opponent might be learning whatever deck they are playing a little bit. I also don't think this is a, a good attack at all. Um, we just get to kill the chariot, which is absolutely the play. Um no reason not to kill the chariot uh that was that was interesting not sure i uh, agree with that uh decision they made 
All right. Um, so what's the next play? Hmm. I think it's uh, we do this. I think we're going to get another treasure token and exploit here uh, with the shambling gas. Again, this is just a way to ramp us a little bit here, but also just draw us into more stuff. And we've already got the answer in hand, right? Like we don't have to do too much. We just have to survive. Uh, if we can sweep the board with this blood on the snow, I, I mean, we're golden. Um, oh, wow. And there's a meat hook massacre as well. Well, perfect. So then at this point, we just wait. Uh, we have gotten our value out of our creatures on the field. If we get to trade off with the Fell Stinger, fantastic. We'll save ourselves a little bit of damage here, but that Blood on the Snow or the Meat Hook Massacre at this point, both are going to help us kind of get rid of whatever the opponents happens to have here, and we should be okay. We'll see. Uh, we've still got a pretty healthy life total. That Meat Hook Massacre could certainly help us out here, uh, to, to gain us a little bit more. Wow. Okay. That's one way to do it. Um, this does have trample, so that is kind of tricky for us, but we do have to block and block, I think. Woo, down to two. All right. <laughs> that is a scary, scary place to be, but again, we might be able to still make this work here. So let's do this for two. Yeah. Let's get this going for two. This is gonna hopefully, uh, yeah. Yeah gain us a little bit of life here just keep us in the game because at this point that's really all we needed to do and let's drop the eye witch this doesn't seem like much i know uh but importantly it's a blocker <laughs> uh this is more what i'm worried about it has trample <clears throat> that's fine uh we can actually deal with that no problem again we've got multiple blood on the snows at this point and i hope they activate this because uh we just get to kill it does this have haste does not have haste that's very important oh it even comes into play tap duh all right so we just blood on the snow uh i think the clear path is to attack in first uh one thing that i tend to forget to do is attack in first <laughs> uh and so very important for us to do so um let's see they have one card in hand i'm gonna acquisitions expert we're gonna get that card out of hand here um let's just make sure they have nothing i think that's really important for us um and we'll actually take the environmental sciences i know that seems a bit silly but the reality is we need every bit of life gain that we can get we also just need an extra land uh so we're not utilizing just our treasure tokens here okay um we could do this for a land and then meat hook for two uh or three that's not good enough alternatively all right so i think the play is just we meat hook for four i mean it's pretty straightforward right like we just have to do this i guess we could have attacked in first um no actually it's good we didn't because the unnatural growth wow that could have been really bad all right glad we didn't do that um <laughs> Hopefully we just get a brick off the top for them. It looks like we didn't. Um, sure. Okay, so. Crucially, these don't get trampled. That's very important for us. Okay, let's, uh, let's environmental sciences. Let's get a land. <clears throat> let's play you. Let's play you. Uh, which is a very important card for us. And then... Let's play the uh, Eye Witch here. So obviously they get to double this. That's. I think we just block with the Eye Witch and then try and gain some life off of this. Okay, that's very good for us. Um, they just drew a land. This doesn't have Trample. <laughs> so we just get a free kill here. Um, hmm. What do we want here? Uh, it might just be Necrotic Fumes. All right, let's do this. Uh, yeah, let's attack in. That's going to give us five life back, which is very good. Uh, let's drop the lull. 
That's gonna drop two of these little guys, and then we can play a Shambling Gas. So here what we can do is just block with the Shambling Gas, get a, a, uh, a treasure token, and then we've got the Necrotic Fumes to take this out using really anything. Um, awesome. I think we got this. I, uh, I don't think we have to worry too much at this point. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get a treasure token. Perfect. Land is helpful as well. Uh, we'll draw a card and lose the life first. Might as well. Never know what you're going to get. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we just win. I was about to necrotic fumes on that, but we just don't have to, right? <laughs> All right, guys. That is two wins so far. We have time for a third game, so let's jump into it and let's see if we can go undefeated with this list. All right, guys, here we are for game three. This will be our final game, and I do think that this is a strong, strong keep. So we've got the Eye Witch, we've got the Acquisitions Expert, and then we have the Infernal Grass backup. We also drew... Uh, I mean, we've got four lands for that blood on the snow, so <clears throat> I think we are in an okay position. We'll see what the opponent's looking to do. Uh, Very interesting. Okay, uh, well, first things first, we definitely just attack in. I think we might just wait. Um, I'm curious to see what the opponent's looking to do. Uh, okay. Nothing. Hmm. All right, well, let's Infernal Grasp on the uh, egg here. Just get that out of the way. It's not really a card I want them to, uh, to have here. All right, let's do this. Uh, let's attack in. Um, and let's Acquisitions Expert. Let's get another card out of hand for them. Um, <clears throat> this does, uh, I mean, this is going to deal some damage over time here, but hopefully we can outpace that. The only thing I don't like about this play is we don't get to leave up the Deadly Dispute, and obviously this is going to be a burn deck. Uh, and so that is going to be something we have to deal with, but, uh, that's pretty good. I'm glad we got that out of hand. There's the Maniform Hellkite. That is a killer, killer card. Um, but again, we do have some things to deal with it here. So hopefully. All right, let's do this. And I think we just pass. As long as we can survive another two turns, we can uh, deal with this Maniform Hellkite and and these two Flame Breathers. And we should be okay. Um, all right. Yep. So what we get to do is sacrifice this in response, draw some cards. It's exactly what we wanted to happen. <coughs> we chose the exact right time to do that as it as it turns out. So that's good. Uh, we'll just block here. Obviously, save ourselves as much damage as we can. And this upcoming turn, we actually just get to sweep. So uh, I'm just going to take the environmental sciences here. All right, so we get to do this. We get to do this. Destroy all creatures. Get everything off the field. <laughs> uh, and let's get that acquisitions expert and get that last card out of hand. Again, just such a good option to have uh, to be able to ditch the last card in the hand here. That's so good. Um, interested to see what they could draw here. I don't know, you know, what they might have. I I've got no idea. So let's attack him first. They may have a burn spell or, you know, something like that. That's fine. Um, let's environmental sciences first. We'll get that. Um, let's put that eye witch down. Uh, and I think we actually just fell stinger sacrificing the acquisitions expert. That acquisitions expert is really not that useful for us. Where is that eye witch? Oh, wow. All right. We <laughs> well, we did it. We went undefeated, guys. Heck yes. Let's talk about this. All right. So first and foremost, Clive Phoenix, again, thank you so much for sharing this amazing list. That was phenomenal. Uh, an undefeated run with this. We really didn't get to see the Westgate Regent do its thing. However, the deck functioned beautifully. Uh, not only did it just smooth itself out, no matter what, we always had some kind of option for us. Uh, but on top of that, it took down three very different decks uh, and, and won them all. I mean, that was fantastic. Uh, absolutely powerhouse deck. The discard feature of this list is such a crucial piece. Uh, I cannot stress that enough. I think including that little bit of discard 
is so helpful for this and obviously we saw it do its thing there so definitely a deck i would highly recommend trying if you're looking to be kind of competitive i think this is a good solid start uh if you're just looking to have some fun with mono black i think this is a really good start so definitely check this one out and guys thank you so much for watching and again thank you to cly phoenix as well for sharing but guys that was awesome leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe to the channel uh make sure you are entered to win that giveaway as well free cards but uh until next time guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you later